Hi everyone, Paul Bischoff from Comparatech here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a Windows virtual router to create a VPN-enabled Wi-Fi hotspot. So basically what we're doing is creating a Wi-Fi hotspot, and any device that connects to that hotspot will have all of its internet traffic go through the VPN server. This is really useful for devices that don't natively support VPNs, such as game consoles, Roku's, Chromecast, things like that. You can get all those things to go through the VPN server, even though they don't natively support VPNs. You will need a laptop with a Broadcom based Wi-Fi card or Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, most laptops made in the past few years have this, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you'll also need an active VPN subscription and a VPN app that uses the OpenVPN protocol. In this demonstration, I'll be using ExpressVPN. And you'll need administrative privilege on your laptop. Basically, you need to be the owner of the laptop and have the administrative account logged in. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this on Windows 10, which makes it very easy. You're going to go down to the magnifying glass here and just type in hotspot and choose change mobile hotspot settings. By default, this is disabled. Just click off. Okay, once the hotspot is enabled, we're going to scroll down, make sure this is set to share my internet connection over Wi-Fi. Under that, click edit. And here you can change the network name. I've already changed mine. Uh, set your password to something stronger than my password. That's just there for demonstration purposes. Uh, choose something memorable for the network name. And under network band, you can choose 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. It's your choice. 2.4 is compatible with more types of devices. 5 gigahertz is faster, uh, but works with fewer types of devices. I'm going to go with 2.4 for now. Click save. And scroll down a little bit more, and you'll see under Related Settings, Change Adapter Options. We're going to click that. Okay, by default, you'll see Local Area Connection-3 is what mine is called. You'll see the name that we called it just under that VPN hotspot. So note that the, the topmost name, Local Area Connection-3, and just remember that for a few seconds. Next, you're going to find your VPN adapter. So this uses a separate adapter. Mine says Express VPN Tap Adapter right here. So I'm going to use that one. It's currently disabled because it's not connected. You're going to right click your VPN adapter, go to Properties, and then go to the Sharing tab and check the box for Allow Other Network Users to Connect Through This Computer's Internet Connection. And then under Home Networking Connection, you'll see a drop down menu. And you're going to choose the one that we just created, which is local area connection asterisk 3. And then you can decide whether you want to allow other network users to control or disable the connection. Uh, best leave that off if you're not sure. Then click OK. You'll see that this connection now has a shared property here. So we can just open ExpressVPN and turn it on. Wait a few seconds while it connects, and it's on. So now, of course, if you browse the internet on this computer, it will go through the VPN, but you can also load up any other device and connect to the new network, and that device's internet traffic will now go through the VPN. So the new VPN network SSID will be called VPN Hotspot, as I've labeled it, or whatever you labeled it, and that's it. You now have a hotspot that is VPN protected. You can route any game console, Roku, Chromecast through this hotspot and it will go through the VPN. You can use it to unblock content. You can use it to get past firewalls. It's great. It's easy. Go set one up. Once again, this has been Paul Bischoff from Comparatech. Thanks for watching.